Welcome to another RSR 10 out I'm reviewing Seattle Sounders FC4 Pumas Unam 0 Leagues Cup 2024 round of 16 Seattle advances to the quarterfinals Pumas gets eliminated Seattle Sounders FC 4 Pumas Unam 0 La octavo de final de la Leagues Cup Seattle avanza de la Porto de final Pumas Unam, eliminado, and honestly, deservedly so. We'll talk about the goals, we'll talk about the stats, we'll do some hat flicks for the first time in a while, and then we'll talk about the game, but really, probably more hat flicks than talking about the game, because there really ain't much to talk about, because Pumas legitimately slow-walked this one. They didn't care. They're fraudulent, just like the Austin game, and Seattle ripped them apart at Lumen Field. First goal, 32nd minute, Paul Rothrock scores. Ball crossed in, header into the net, into the post, bounces over the hand of Julio Gonzalez, gets 1-0. Paul Rothrock with the opening goal. Good for him. Toronto, you're a bunch of idiots for letting him go. Seattle, you got a good one. Paul Rothrock's a damn good player. He's a damn good player. Good for him. 1-0, uno a cero. Halftime, 1-0, Miro Tiempo, 1-0 esta noche. 59th minute, Jordan Morris gets the ball, played to him, takes a volley as a defender's running on to him and just lobs it, just lasers it past. I won't even say lobs, lasers it past Gonzalez, 2-0, Dos a cero, beautiful goal by Jordan Morris. Albert Rusnak gets a penalty. He puts it down the middle as Gonzalez is going the other way in the 71st minute, 3-0, 3 a 0 And then 95th minute, Jordan Morris is clipped at the heels. They give a penalty. Magalans sent off. Gave away two penalties and got sent off for it. Yep, both penalties given away by Magalan. Jordan Morris takes it, goes the same way, but bottom corner, puts it past Gonzalez, 4-0, 4 a 0 beautiful penalty. By Jordan Morris. Game ends 4 0 full time. 4 a 0 esta noche. Seattle Sounders dominate Pumas and they will advance to the quarterfinals. Seattle might just be back, but full time stats are as follows 11 shots to 11, 5 shots on goal to 6, 42% possession to 58% possession, 325 passes to 453, 74% pass accuracy to 83. 11 fouls to 20, 0 offside to 1, 4 yellow cards to 3, 0 red cards to 1, 5 corners to 5. First off, we will start with a brand new edition of Hat Flicks. For the first time in God knows how long. It's been a while, but I think we have to. Hat Flicks, where we talk about the biggest mistakes and bag fumbles in football and CONCACAF, they got highlighted on hat flicks. Hat flick number one goes to Memote Martinez. Now look at this. Now look at this. Seriously, balls crossed into him and he just absolutely raffles it over the bar. Dude, you should score that. I don't know how you missed that. I do not know how you missed that, Memote. Dear Lord, you went to the Copa because they didn't want Henry, but you're supposed to be a good striker. Even though you are a journeyman, you're supposed to be a good striker. What was that? 1-0 Pumas? This game might be totally different. This game might be totally different. Kipe also got called offside. I think it would have been two if that stood and you scored. But again... This game would have been totally different if only you scored and actually kept that on frame. Dude, you're playing Andrew Thomas, not Stephen Fry. Keep it low. Keep it low. You went full Marky Delgado. You can't do that, man. Dude, you can't do that, Mamonte. You can't do that. Hat, hat flick number one goes to you. Hat flick number two. Well, just look at this. You couldn't let me have the fact it was funny that it was 3-0? You lost to Seattle at CenturyLink Field, but 4-0 this time. You couldn't let me have the fact it was funny it was 3? If you're going to be fraudulent, really? You couldn't let me have that fact it would have been funny 
You lost again up there, 3 0. At least you tried last time. You didn't tonight. There's another hat flick for you. If you're going to choke, at least make it funny. At least make it funny. This game sucked. There wasn't even anything funny about it. Well, I guess Mamolte, but seriously, why not lose the same amount? It does say something, though, that a team who was actually trying lost 3 0. And then a team who wasn't at all only lost one more against a worse Sounders team. But the Sounders might be back, everybody. I have to say, they might be back. They might be back. Because let me tell you, y'all really, and I mean really, really tried to uh, put Pumas out to pasture. And they did. Pumas is a fraudulent team. They really are. They should have lost to Vancouver. They didn't because Vancouver shot themselves in the foot. And I could have totally done hat flicks on them, but I didn't. I did not. But I said hat flicks would happen if Pumas lost to Seattle. Well, guess what happened? They did because they deserve it. Mimolte could have changed this game. Pumas could have won if he would have scored. He didn't. Guess what? You lost. You lost. Hate to tell you, that sucks. That really sucks. Man, you're better than this. You are legitimately better than this. And guess what? You choked anyway. Damn. Pumas, I expected better out of y'all. I was wrong about this game. Had Pumas winning, they didn't. They lost. Bad. Seattle advances. They'll play LAFC or S San Jose. <laughs> SJ, I was going SJ. San Jose Earthquakes. They won't play them. It'll probably be LAFC anyway. With that being said, though, LAFC will probably beat Seattle. I don't see Seattle beating LAFC. Now, if they do, they're back. They are truly back, Seattle, if they beat LAFC in LA. But then again, we've seen Schmetzer do it before when all the odds were against him. So who knows? Who knows, right? Seattle Sounders, they were dominant tonight. Paul Rothrock was amazing. I think man of the match was Jordan Morris. Jordan Morris has been amazing as a false nine striker. He really has. I see why Seattle didn't let him go to the Olympics. He's been amazing. He's been absolutely amazing. Seattle did what they had to do. They wanted this more. They wanted to make a point that the Champions League wasn't a fluke because some of the MLS performances since then have showed it could have been. It wasn't. Or at least Pumas was the easiest team to beat out of them all. But, you know, they said that about Chivas. Toronto couldn't get it done, right? They said that about Leon. LAFC couldn't get it done. Pachuca was a different beast. But with that being said, Seattle, they proved that they deserve to be CONCACAF champions back two years ago. And they still may could get a job done at the Club World Cup next summer. Good performance by Seattle. Pumas, they're the only two players that I will not get too mad at for y'all. Chino Huerta was the only player on the outfield worth a damn tonight. He was the only one trying. Julio Gonzalez tried, but he got hung out to dry. He got hung out to dry by the rest of his team. So, yeah, those two players are the only players I wouldn't be mad at. Ruva Calba, I'd be mad at. Piero Kipe, I'd be mad at. I'd be mad at Mamote for sure. Pumas, I mean, dear Lord, they didn't even try. One person can't carry you to a win. Hell, two players can't, but it's harder for a goalkeeper to carry to a certain extent if the defense aren't even trying. Two of them against him were penalties. Now, those are on him, but at least he got to the right side of one of them. But, header he almost got. He almost got the Roth Rock header. Jordan Morris goal, that was pretty much a rifle. I don't know if he could have got that one. But again... Two players that I really am not mad about. The rest of them are. Pumas, my God. So bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. They didn't care. They didn't want to win this game. They were fine with losing. Weren't they? Weren't people trying to push this revenge line? It's like when somebody fantasy books a WWE storyline. And then you finally get your fantasy booking pairing. And then the storyline's worse in your fantasy booking. It's like, well, I expected so much better. 
This was horrible. That's exactly what this was. People were like, oh, this will be revenge for Pumas. Nope. They got beat even worse by a less good Seattle team. Where this Pumas team is just as good, if not better, on paper. Kipe, Chino Huerta, Ruva Calba, Memote, and Funes Mori. On paper, this team is better. Puseto, on paper, the team is better. At least more than just one player. But, no, it didn't go that way, didn't it? So, what can you do? They got beat worse by a worse Seattle team with a Pumas team that's just as good, if not better on paper. It makes no sense. They are a bunch of chokers. They really are. They are the Tottenham of Mexico. Except I actually like them as lovable losers. It's probably the problem, though. I don't like Tottenham, even though I like Ange Postacoglu, but still. I like Pumas, but they're the Tottenham of Mexico, and they wear the same colors as well. So, makes sense. With that being said, you choked. Man of the match, Jordan Morse. Big ups to Paul Rothrock for getting the goal. Good for him. I'm happy for him. You got two hat flicks tonight. But this game was pretty much boring. It was Seattle just stomping out Pumas and Pumas not giving a crap. Such a horrible game. It really was a horrible match, even though Seattle won 4-0. The scoreline doesn't really say this match was good. It was just Pumas played like crap and didn't care, and Seattle got four basically gimmies. Good for them, though. Congratulations to Seattle. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Want to subscribe? Send some chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play. This share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along of both Columbus Crew versus Inter Miami CF and St. Louis or Club America versus St. Louis City SC, and we will review a America versus St. Louis. Two lives, one review. We'll have that tomorrow. And then Wednesday afternoon, we will be live and reviewing the UEFA Super Cup, Real Madrid versus Atalanta. And that's then Thursday, we'll recap the Leagues Cup round of 16, predict the quarters, and then we'll be back Friday or Saturday for matches. So there you go. Probably, I think it'll be Saturday, I guess. Friday, probably not. I think it'll be Saturday. But we may have an off day Friday. I don't know. But with that being said, congratulations. Felicidades, Seattle. Commiserations, Pumas. We move. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. See you.